Yeah, the information I knew about this particular project was it was located in San Diego and I live in North County, so I was able to get down there pretty quick. I showed up, walked uh, around the house, talked about his concerns. I noticed there was a big tree in the front yard and there was some sloping in the floors. There ended up being three inches down when I took my zip level and took my elevation measurements. The homeowner's concerns, his, his biggest pain point for calling Dolling House in the first place was that the floors were sloping and then there were cracks in the drywall. This particular job, we stabilized it with helical piers and there was a couple reasons why we only stabilized and not lift. Because it was, a, it was uh, an older residence and sometimes old residences can't handle our helical piers where we in, our piers are galvanized steel and can handle 68,000 pounds per pier and sometimes the older structure can't handle the, the lift as well. Also, they had a recent remodel done and some painting, and sometimes when you lift with our push piers or helical piers, you can end up cracking the, the inside and the outside and cause more damage than you would have had, but this was gonna stabilize the, the, the residents, um, and we provide a lifetime warranty. Well, first of all, we need the homeowner to make sure that uh, the area is clear, six to 10 feet, so our crews can work through these areas where the piers are gonna be installed. This particular situation, they were in installed from the front, all the way up the driveway, and then all the way around the back. So our crews uh, started digging their holes, they're about two and a half to three feet squared, and they get all the way down to the footing, make sure the footing is completely clean with the chipping hammer, put the bracket, start installing the steel, get it down to competent bedrock or whatever the torque value is on the, the engineered plans. Um, they cut and capped on this situation because they didn't need to lift and then they make sure they put the dirt back and then in the planters. And this situation, I think it required some concrete pour back, but not all situations do because a lot of these times these piers are being installed in planters. But on this one, there were some bushes in our work area, so we had the homeowner remove those. Yeah, so once our crew was done, we provide them a lifetime warranty, um, our closing paperwork. They had a permit on this particular job, the stamped and signed engineered plans. So. I'll go back to the warranty for a second. That's actually transferable. So I think the new homeowner pays one or $200 to, to transfer the warranty in their name, but this goes for the lifetime of the, of, the, of the home. So we provided that paperwork to the homeowner as well as peace of mind that knowing his, his house will never settle again.